Hello together. In today's video, I show you how to install the add-on ABAP 2X SLX on the SAP system. With this open source tool or add-on, you can read and generate Excel files. This add-on has features that the R3 standard does not offer. If you don't like this tool, it can be removed without leaving any residue because it is basically just a collection of domains, data elements, structures, interfaces and classes. But now let's open the program set up up git standalone and run it. It's the ABAP git client on our system. And now we click on new online repository. Now we need an URL for this. I open the browser and I go to the GitHub repository of this project. Then I copy this link here, right mouse click and copy. And I paste this link in my git URL input field. Then I pick a package or I create a new package. I call it that ABAP to xlsx then I pick a display name I pick the same then I click on the button create package then we need here a short description for the package. So I type here ABAP to XLSX. Then on continue. Okay, then we have a transport request. Click on continue. And then we click on the button create online repository. Then we see the, the user and the transport request and the uh, source code. For example, the different classes, methods and the other objects. So let's uh, scroll up and we click on the button pull. Then we get another transport request. I pick my example request, click on continue. And then the source is uh, compiled and installed. I have increased the speed here a little bit because this takes some time. Okay, then we have uh, to activate some objects here. Click on continue. and another object to activate. Okay, then we have some warnings, but that looks good. Okay. So we have installed ABAP to XLSX. Next we uh, we install the demo packages. So I go back here and I click on new online repository again. Then I open my browser again and I type here uh, demos. And there are many demo programs for this uh, open source project. So let's copy this URL and we go back to the git repository and I paste this URL here and I pick another package, a local package, because I don't want to transport the demos to the production system. So I type here set ABAP to XLSX demos. And next I type the display name. 
So I write here set up up to x lsx demos. We uh, create a package. We need a short description for the local package. And we click on continue. Then we click on create online repository. Then we have the sources again and we click on pull. So I have increased the speed here again. And then we get the list of objects and we click on activate. Okay, there are some warnings again, but it looks good. <clears throat> Okay, so let's uh, check the source. So we go back and we open the object navigator with the transaction SE80. And then we type here the package name, what we have created. So I type here set ABAP to XLSX. And we see here the sub packages, the objects, the classes, interfaces, and so on. So the installation was successful. But if you are not able to create your repositories online because of a certificate or SSL error, there's another option to uh, install this uh, open source project. So you can. Uh, install it offline. For this we click on new offline repository and we type here an, a repository name. I uh, type here ABAP to XL, uh, XSLX and underscore offline because this is only a test. And here type a package set up up to xlsx2 for example and then i click on create offline repository okay uh this okay this package uh, exists so i pick here the next number three because i have tested this before so i pick here three and i click on create package then i write here a uh, short description again and click on continue then we need a transport request i create here a new one offline installation up up to x slx and I click on save yes continue and now I can upload a zip. I can import a zip. For this, I open my browser again, click here uh, the, the up up to XLSX repository. Then I click on the green button, and here I can download a zip. And this zip we can import here with this click. I pick here the downloaded zip file, click on open. And now this source is uploaded. But now I get some errors because I have already installed this file online. Okay, so that, that, uh, that's, that is the way to install it offline. And now this is my repository list. And now I, I clean it up. So I uninstall my offline installations for this i click on this arrow then on advanced and uninstall 
and delete. And I need a uh, transport request here. I pick the offline installation here to clean my repository list up. And last one, this offline package. You see this on the on this icon. Advanced and uninstall. Okay. Then. Okay, so that's my clean repository list. And now let's open the transaction SE38. And here we can search for the installed demo programs. We see there are many demo programs here, which you can use for our example code or future projects. You see in the descriptions of the programs the huge amount of features, which I will also use in some of my future videos. Yes, um, that was it. Have fun using this add-on. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I would be happy if we meet again in the next video. Thank you and see you soon.